Hello Geminis, this is your X reading for the 3rd through the 9th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oop. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, of course this is a general so it's not going to resonate for everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, please hit me up on either my email. I prefer the website first um, because it comes directly to me right away. All right, something just jumped here. Um, we're going to do something a little different. I have incorporated some Romance Angels cards, and one just flipped out. And it says, you deserve love. This is the first one. You are lovable. Okay. Hmm. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you have probably, you know, you're you're at a point where you've probably been single for a while, and um, you probably separated from someone. I'm sure that's why you're here because this is an ex reading, and I feel like you're at a point where um, you're kind of rethinking this whole single thing. Okay, so keep in mind the divine timing is at play. Okay, so something is shifting here. I feel. Hmm. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe some of you are working overtime um, and not really. It looks like there's two cars there, and it is. Okay. Um, some of you have probably been overworking um, and, you know, not really having the time to really devote towards your love life or some of you are probably needing to get your finances in check you know get that aspect you know in line first before you actually before you know the energy will shift and um, you guys are truly open to love instead of being you know as focused on your finances okay and then we have that was stuck to that we have flirt Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have been just kind of focusing on working and, you know, kind of getting your coins up. But um, there is a need to allow for um, love to actually enter. Flirt a little bit, go out a little bit, have some fun. Okay, because you are Geminis. And I know you guys know what fun is, how to have it. Okay, that like Aries. Alright guys, let's see what the tarot has to say. Alright, let's see what's going on for my Geminis. Where are they coming from? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like a lot of you guys are... I feel like you've overextended actually here with the Queen of Cups. Um, the Queen of Cups is usually somebody that will love unconditionally, even when people step on them. And I feel like... Um, this is where most of you are coming from, you know, just offering your love even when people don't necessarily deserve it. And um, it, as it lays on top of, um, you deserve love, okay? So not only, you know, do you need to extend your love, but make sure that others are extending their love to you as well, okay? That you're not the one that's just giving and giving and giving. You know, don't just involve yourself with takers, okay? They need to give as well, alright? Let's see what the other person, where they're coming from, okay? Ha! Huh. Somebody wants to offer you something. There's somebody that um, I feel like that you were extending heavily to um, that probably was not reciprocating the way that they knew they should have been and now they are ready they are ready I think they um, this individual does not know if you still feel the same way okay let's see where you guys are currently hmm. Um, there's something that you're starting. Maybe you are starting to date. Um, maybe, uh, and not this individual, because maybe you have given up on them. Um, so maybe you're just kind of getting your feet wet. 
maybe this individual has offered something to you, maybe offered to take you out on a date, for a drink, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm. Some of you have just started a new business where you feel, um, where you're really using your intuition in a loving feel. Maybe some of you are nurses. Caregivers, um, daycare owners, possibly. Some of you just started a daycare center. Some of you are in home health. The person you're dealing with is single. They're they're I'm not gonna say they're comfortable. They're secure in themselves for sure, but. The Nine of Pentacles is is ready to love, though. Okay. They're ready to love. They're at a point in their life where they're secure within themselves. And I feel like that is what um, was needed before. But I don't think they were at that point when you guys were together. But now they're feeling very secure, very comfortable in their life and um, I feel like they're tired of being single. Yes, they, they want love and they want it from you. Okay. Let's see what you guys need. What does Gemini need? I feel like you need to stand like do not waver in what it is that you believe or what you want if you know you want commitment don't waver from that don't lower your standards for anybody um, you know make sure that it's something solid um, stable that somebody is offering to you before you actually accept it. Um, don't settle for less is what I'm getting. Because the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant is laying right on top of worth waiting for. Yeah, it is. Don't accept things just because um, you feel like it's convenient. Because this right here is worth waiting for. You have to hold out. You have to hold out for that individual that is offering what it is that you actually need and deserve in your life, okay? Let's see what they need. Let's see what they need. The person that ta that Tars, that Gemini is dealing with. <laughs> they need clarity. I feel like this person, you know, they need to select one cup. They need to be sure that they truly want to be involved and committed to one person. And they need to make that commitment if they truly want um, a love that is lasting, I feel. Because I, I, I get the impression that they were maybe a little full of themselves before thinking that maybe the grass was greener on the other side or something like that thinking they had all the time in the world to commit to a relationship let's see <clears throat> let's see what you guys need Will of Fortune huh I think you guys need another go at it, is what I'm feeling. Um, there's something shifting here. The, the tables, like, things are turning. You're Like you're getting another go at things, is what I'm feeling. Things are shifting for the better here. Not only in your love life, but I think your career is advancing. I feel like um, a lot of you have either gone back to school as well to kind of further your further your um, your career, and in turn, that is going to bring you lots of success and wealth. Not just wealth like in money, but like spiritual wealth. I feel. 
because again I feel like a lot of you are in um, fields where you are caring for people babies you know the elderly even you know being a nurse or something like that let's see what the other person needs I feel like this person needs to leave behind all that um, selfishness because that's exactly what this card is. This is a whole lot of selfishness. Um, this is not taking another person or people into account. It's like, you know, strictly functioning out of your own selfish needs. And in order to be in a relationship, you have to have a level of selflessness, okay? And that is what they need. They need to be honest, not only with you and other people, but they really need to be honest with themselves and get out of this illusionment that they have all the time in the world, because they don't, you know, because true love, you know, we love probably several times in our life, but that, that real deep, true, true love, that doesn't happen often, okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for you guys? Oh, okay. I feel like you will start flirting. I feel like you are very lighthearted. Um, and I feel like you're on your way to finding that stability that, that you are seeking here in the Two of Wands. Because, you know, the Four of Wands is stability so you know what here we are with the two of wands you're getting there but you need to be open to other things even if it's not the ex that's coming back um but you need to be open to other things okay it's what i feel if this person is for you and you guys are uh, meant to to come together i think that that is what will happen here but if not you will um, encounter somebody that does suit you, I feel. Something flipped over here. Look what they need. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel like this is to be a man or be a woman and be supportive. Um, this is not what they need, but this is this is the outcome. I'm sorry. But this is who they will be. They will be somebody that wants to support you, wants to take care of you, be there for you. This is somebody that's there through thick and thin. This is husband or wife material here. Okay? So this is, they go from, they go from being the nine of pentacles, strictly caring about themselves and their own well-being to being the king of pentacles here. Okay? So that's, that's very good. That's very good. I like this. And I think they will get to a point where, you know, they, they will see you for um, the great individual that you are. Because your line looks marvelous. And um, theirs does not look so shabby except for this, um, you know, this, this right here. Okay, this was all in their head because they were just a little full of themselves, possibly. But um, yeah, I think they are, you know, realizing that this is a love that is um, worth having, worth waiting for. Okay, worth going after here. All right, my Gemini. So that is what I have for you guys for the third through the ninth, and I will speak to you soon. Bye now.